basic idea behind swarming is uh, that nature has solved problems in some pretty clever ways, and one of them is through swarming. And uh, this is very prominent in the insect world, where you'll see very simple creatures, uh, but each one of them can make decisions based on the information immediately about them, and then based on their, their decisions and the combination of their decisions with all of their hive mates, a much more complex, in fact, uh, almost uh, intelligent, arises. So when we wanted to explore some of these ideas about swarms, it seemed like a natural fit to use people. We got uh, 100 volunteers. Uh, we gave them a, a very limited set of instructions, grouped together by the color of your shirt, line up by the number on your shirt, make words with the, the letter on the back of your shirt. And then we'd watch them. And what would happen is each, each human could understand what the overall goal is, but they only have a limited ability to act. For instance, um, if you're uh, uh, the letter J, let's say, and you think, oh, that'd be really cool, I'll, I'll, I'll write out the word June for the month of June, uh, you may not be able to make that happen because you, know, you may not be able to convince an N and an E or, a, or maybe to use busy or something. So you have to work within what you have the ability to, to change. And what we do is we get up from a height and videotape the human solving these problems and sort of get a, an overview of how the cooperation comes to be. And then we can try and figure out ways to it in which we can uh, program that on robots or apply that in other scenarios. I, I think there's, there's two things that are going to happen uh, at the Ingenuity Fest. And one is as a participant and one is as an observer. And as a participant, you'll be in a, you know, cordoned off area uh, with a, a bunch of other people and you'll be given a high-level goal, you know, find everybody uh, with the same color, t color uh, outfit you've got on, uh, line up next to somebody, find people who are born the same month as you. But what, what you'll find is that you're used to, as a human, being sort of an individual and working towards an individual goal. But here, you are absolutely dependent on everybody else in order to do uh, what you're trying to do. So it's a, it's a really interesting thing to experience the limited control over uh, the achievement of the goal that you want. The other thing that I hope people will get a chance to experience at the Ingenuity Fest is watching this from the outside. Because, I mean, who hasn't, uh, you know, when you're walking down the sidewalk and you see, uh, uh, you know, somebody dropped an ice cream cone and there's ants swarming all around it, you kind of watch them. It's fascinating to watch.